guys welcome back to my channel today I'm doing this Cleopatra inspired makeup tutorial which is perfect for Halloween so yeah let's get straight to it so I filled my eyebrows in extra dark with a really sharp arch so I primed my eyes with Too Faced Lemon Drop eyeshadow insurance and I primed the lid and also underneath my eyes as well Taking Half Baked by Urban Decay on a flat shading brush, I packed that all onto my eyelid, like you can see here, and going a little bit up into the crease. Then I took Feline by MAC, which is a coal pencil, and kind of like shaped out the cut crease that I wanted. So I went kind of above my crease on my eyelid, and then also kind of flicked it out and up towards the end, like you can see here. And for the inner part, I actually dragged the line towards the inner part of my nose like you can see here. I then took Primal from the Naked Basics 2 palette and started blending that on top of the line that we drew with the Curl Pencil. And so basically for this part guys, you literally just have to blend, blend, blend. And using this kind of pencil brush really helps because it's quite precise but it still helps to blend the product at the same time. And don't worry if you get the product underneath the line because we can always clean that up towards the end. Then grabbing the colour Undone from the same palette, I'm using the same brush to just blend those two colours together and also so that there's a bit of a gradient so you can't see like two different lines and the colours are nicely blended in together. Then with a clean fluffy brush I'm just going over that line again just to make sure it's nicely blended. I then decided the cut crease wasn't dark enough so I went back with the coal and back with the blending kind of method and just went over it one more time just to make it a little bit deeper and a little bit darker. Cleopatra was all about the gold so I took an Albatross by NARS which is a highlighter and highlighted my brow bone with this and I kind of layered this product on just so that it gave a really nice gold sheen. And then using Jewel Blue by MAC I took that on another pencil brush and started kind of putting that product and packing it onto the outer V of my eye and making sure that the product was also nicely blended into all of the other colours as well. Then grabbing some more of the gold colour on a concealer brush, I kind of neatened up the gold area, making sure that the cut crease was nice and sharp, but not too sharp because I didn't want it to be too kind of extra. For the wing eyeliner, I used L'Oreal Superliner So Couture and I just went ahead and lined my eye with a really long flick following that kind of shaded wing eyeshadow and yeah, just kind of carrying that on and doing a really kind of thin wing on my eyelid. And then to make it look a bit more like Egyptian and Cleopatra like, I took that wing and kind of elongated it and extended it towards my inner tear duct. For tight lining, I used my favourite Urban Decay eyeliner, which is in the shade Perversion, and just went ahead and tight lined my upper eye. And as always, just cleaned up a little bit of the ends with just an ordinary wipe. For mascara, I used the L'Oreal Telescopic Extra Black Mascara and just added just like one layer of mascara on because I was going to go ahead and add some lashes. And the lashes that I used are the Trap Lashes by Urban Decay because I thought they were really Cleopatra-like and quite fluttery. Onto the face, I used NARS, a Sheer Glow foundation in Santa Fe and a MAC Face and Body. And the reason I chose these two foundations was because they give a really nice semi-matte finish and I thought, that's probably something that Cleopatra would wear. <laughs> and I'm just blending it all away with my Beauty Blender, making sure that it's all seamless and there's no kind of patchy areas. For concealing and highlighting, I just used my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in shade NC25 because it's quite a few shades lighter than my skin and it still conceals and then kind of highlights at the same time. So I'm adding like triangle shapes underneath my eyes using just a Zoeva concealer brush and then also adding whatever's left on my chin, my cupid's bow, down the centre of my nose and also my forehead. 
And here I am doing the usual, just blending everything out with the beauty blender. And I like using the pointy side for this so that I can get into all the nooks and crannies of my face. And I know the beauty blenders have come out with like a mini beauty blender, which I cannot wait to get my hands on because I think it would be perfect for under eye concealer. Taking perversion again, I'm just lining my lower waterlines this time. And God, it feels like I haven't done this in such a long while. I felt like I looked really strange and really bizarre. But then on an angled brush, I took Undone from the Naked Basics 2 palette and started to kind of line my lower lash line. And I tried to make this quite thick because I really wanted to give it that Egyptian Cleopatra type feel. I actually really liked using this shade of colour because it wasn't too harsh like a really dark black but it was like a perfect smoky blacky grey colour. Then using my trusty banana powder by Ben Nye just to set my under eyes and again just using the beauty blender to apply and kind of dab it into place. So for contour I used the Revolution eyeshadow in Delicious and lightly applied that onto the hollows of my cheeks and just blended that out just to give it a really nice kind of hollowed out effect. Then for cheeks I went for the Majorette Blusher by Benefit and just applied that onto the apples of my cheeks because I don't think in any of like the Cleopatra pictures um, she wears much blusher so I thought this would be perfect. And then highlighting again with Albatross by NARS to give it that really golden look. And then I almost forgot this next part and it's mascara on my bottom lashes. So I'm taking the same L'Oreal mascara and just applying that on to my bottom lashes. And I only think I put about one and a half, maybe two layers of this on. So for the lips, I first started off with my new favourite nude, which is by Glow and Ray and it's in the colour Freeze. I totally tried to say colour and shade at the same time there, but it's in the shade Freeze. I actually love this, the consistency reminds me of the Milani lipsticks which is really cool. And then I used Max Costa Chic on top just to give it that hint of coral to match the cheeks. And to give the lips a bit of a gold feel I added some half-baked eyeshadow onto the centre of my lips. I first added it onto the bottom lip and then my top lip and then also went in with my finger and just blended it all out so it was nice and blended and didn't look like I just put a bit of eyeshadow on my lips. So that Cleopatra hair, you cannot have it in a pony so I took it down, added a centre parting and just kind of smoothed it all out because it was straight from the day before and then I took a necklace of mine which I got from Rituals in Leicester and just literally put that on top of my head and kind of like fixed it into place as to where I wanted it and then I went and added some earrings so these are the matching earrings to the necklace I actually got this out um, I think I got it the other week, about two or three weeks ago so it's quite new but then I also added some braids so I added two on each side and I literally just took random areas, random chunks and braided the strands all the way down and then added a clear elastic kind of tie thing at the end and i had been looking for them for ages and I managed to find some in Claire's but then I also realised that Superdrug do them for like a pound cheaper so yeah you can get them from Superdrug as well but here you can see me and my four random braids in my hair you can add more if you want but that's how much I went for and this is the final look you guys I really hope you like it, it's really kind of a quick and easy thing to do as a last minute um, Halloween idea but yeah I will see you all in my next video, bye! <laughs>